Well, snow across the area continuing at the six o'clock hour. We have several more hours to go, but it's not looking like we're really going to end up with all that much in the way of accumulation. Not what they're seeing out by the coast as we head overnight, but we're still picking up some snow showers through Fayette and Nicholas counties. We're going to continue to see this slide on into the area as we head over the next several hours, and then we're really going to start to see dry, cold, northwesterly air move on in. You can see over Ohio, they're already done with the snow. It's going to be a pretty quick moving event. We're going to say, wow, that was it as we head into the evening hours. Temperatures 20s to around 30 degrees, so right around that freezing mark, we are seeing some pretty slick roadways. Could see some freezing on the roads tonight, so definitely be careful with that. Temperatures are going to drop very fast down into the 20s. Snow will be largely over across the area by midnight, maybe left with a couple of flurries, but those precipitation chances are low, 30 to 40 percent through the overnight. And look at that, 9 a.m. we're at 10 degrees, plus with that northwesterly wind, at 12 miles per hour, we're going to be feeling even colder than that. Winter weather, uh, winter weather advisories, excuse me, are in effect for uh, our, the entire viewing area as we head into Saturday morning. So every county is in that winter weather advisory. That's for one to three inches tops. I'd be surprised if many places get more than that besides up through the snowshoe area, potentially Richwood, Meadow Bridge, higher ridges. Besides that, if you're below 3,000 feet, likely not going to see more than two to maybe three inches. In terms of timing, well, we're continuing to see that snow. And then by the time we hit midnight, it's over. It's done. It's out of here. And temperatures are falling fast down into the teens across the area. Maybe some single digits. But we're going to see the sun tomorrow. It just won't help us heat up all that much. We're going to be really feeling cold. And then we'll start to see more clouds on Sunday. Could see a couple flurries, but I highly doubt those come to fruition. Too much dry air in the atmosphere. Wind chill advisories are really what's going to take the story tomorrow because they're up for really a large portion of the area. We don't see this many these uh, this many counties in under wind chill advisories uh, all at once, uh, really that often. Uh, but looks like Eastern Fayette, Eastern Nicholas, Greenbrier Valley, all the way down uh, to the Taswell area. In those windchill advisories, those are in effect until Saturday morning, and that is for dangerously cold wind chills. Not the actual temperatures, but what it feels like with the wind. And we're going to have those cold north northwesterly winds gusting upwards of 20 to 30 miles per hour right along those higher ridges where those advisories are and all the way down into Tazewell where you see those brighter colors. That's going to make it feel really cold. The good news is it switches to out of the southwest as we head into Sunday morning. That being said, the damage is done. Wind chill advisories, wind chills are going to be as cold as 21 below zero as we head into Saturday morning, three below zero in Oak Hill and five below zero in Beckley. So just take it easy if you do have to be out layer upon layer upon layer as we head into our Saturday. It continues throughout the entirety of the day. So just take it easy heading out throughout our Saturday. Take it slow. Good news is that we, it is a very short-lived cold air e uh, event. Temperatures going back to 50 degrees. We haven't seen that in quite some time. Uh, that'll happen by the time we get to the middle of next week. We'll be right back.